This short video will show you how to fold the Rhombus Sonobe module for use in making larger origami projects. The first thing you want to do is to lay your paper down with the colored side down and the white side facing up. If you're using double-sided paper, whatever color that you want to be the most prominent, leave it on the bottom and face the other color up. Next, you need to fold the paper long ways into a long rectangle. Now reopen the paper. You've noticed that you've made a long crease. You will use this line to fold along for the next step. Now the next step is easy. Simply fold the outer two sides into the middle line. First do one side, then the other, until you have both long pieces folded into the center line. Now, again, unfold the paper so you're back to the beginning. Now you should have three lines. We will use these three lines to fold along for the rest of the project. Next is one of the most important steps, but is very easy. You need to take the bottom right-hand corner of the paper and fold it up along that right-hand line. It is important that you only start with the right-hand corner. If you use a different corner, your shapes will turn out differently. So always make sure that you start with the bottom right corner. Next, you need to fold down the opposite corner. You can do this by turning the paper around and folding up the right corner again, or simply folding down the top left corner. The result, however, should look like the paper you see now before you, with the bottom right hand corner and the top left hand corner folded down along those lines. It is important that you fold as straight as you can along our folding lines. Now. Take both sides and fold them back in along to the midline. You're just folding along the folds that we already created earlier. Don't make any new folds, just fold the two sides in along to that midline. Open the right side so that it looks like the folded paper you see before you now. Now, pick up the bottom left hand corner of the paper and fold it in a large triangle to meet up with the right folding line. When you finish, it should look like the picture now that you see above. Fold it in. Pick up the right side again and fold it back over so that it looks like it does now. Spin your project now so that the pointed side is facing up and we're going to do the same fold now with the bottom side. This time we have to be careful though, because we can't unfold the paper again. So what you need to do is fold the bottom left hand corner up to the midline. Then, after creasing the paper, unfold it again. Then carefully tuck in that corner into the right side by pushing it up underneath the paper above. Don't make any new folds, push it in until it meets the fold that you just created. When you finish, your piece should look like this. We're almost done, but we have a few more folds to make so that it will be easier when you fold your project at the end. Take your project and flip it over so that the smooth side is now facing up and it looks like the picture you see now on your screen. Now take the bottom right hand corner and fold it up to the top right hand corner so that the two pieces meet evenly. Now, fold the top left corner down until it meets the bottom left corner. When you finish, it should look like a square or like the picture that you see on your screen. Pick up the paper now and flip it over so that you see a cross pattern. Fold the square in line with the folds that you made on the other side so that it forms a triangle and crease. When you finish, you will have your rhombus pattern with several folds in it, breaking it into smaller triangles. These folds that you made will help you to connect into smaller projects. Well, that's it. You folded your Sonobe module. Now, what kinds of projects can you make with these? The following will show you some examples, but good luck and try and create your own designs. It's a lot more fun that way.